Welcome to the presentation of Dynamic Control Unit Control System, a new advanced fully featured process control system for general public. But first, what is a process control system? Process control system is a hardware software technology setup that performs automatic control of a technological process. In the heart of any control system is a real-time controller. Range controller is connected to sensors, valves, dampers or any other actuators acting and measuring uh, controlled uh, technological process. On the other side, a real-time controller can be connected to some human machine interface. And then we have to have a PC or computer on which we do a design and programming of our real-time controller. In case of simple process control system or embedded control system, uh, uh, the entire control system consists of only real-time controller, some simple human machine interface and a computer for designing, the, but this one is not connected permanently. In case of complex industrial process control system, situation is slightly different. We can have several real-time controllers. We have a control network that interconnects real-time controller with different kinds of displaying or data storage or designing devices. So on one side we have real-time control, on the other side we have user displays, servers and PCs and computers. This side of the control network has the following tasks designing, monitoring, optimization of process, history recording, human machine interface. Now the question is why a new control system? On this complex picture we have on this side different kinds of control systems. We have a group of corporate industrial and building control systems built by cor corporates we have local industrial and building control systems. <coughs> we have experimental and, and embedded control systems. Uh, and we distinguish also hobby electronics. On this side, we have main control system features. First, the most important control feature is process control requirements. How the control system satisfies history recording, visualization, alarms, schedules, inputs, outputs, hard real-time system. On this side we have how the system supports advanced control. Scientific computational platforms, dynamic simulators, advanced techniques. Here we have how much the control system uses modern information technology. Modern means different kind of systems, latest versions of the systems, Windows, Linux, Macintosh, mini PCs, tablets, modern databases, open source software and so on. Finally, in this corner, we have how the control system is available to general public. In terms of hardware price, software price and availability on the market. If a normal person can buy this system on internet for example. Why we have divided the control system features into these four um, these four zones. Process control requirements give us applicability of the control system, comfort for designer as well as user, reusability and design efficiency. Advanced control give us optimal and robust control performance. Also, we can do a complex process control and monitoring. If you use modern information technology, we have implementation flexibility. We can use low-cost uh, hardware or high-performance expensive hardware. We have also cost efficiency. We can adapt to a particular project. We have high-performance and we have permanent development of 
tools and softwares. General availability bring us wide use of advanced control system technology in in all in all kinds of areas. So now how the different groups of control systems satisfies these four elements. Corporate industrial and building systems obviously on 100% satisfies process control requirements. They have uh, complex tools for designing and for history recording visualizations. They have many different kind of functions. They support alarm schedules, all kinds of inputs, outputs. Uh, and so on. On the other hand, the modern information technology, the big industrial uh, corporations don't care too much about that. Generally, they use only Windows, they use huge computers, servers, and they don't care much about tablets, mini PCs. They prefer to develop their own uh, hardware solutions they can, they can sell at high price. Also advanced control. They don't care much about that because customers know no, knows nothing about advanced control. So they don't require it. So there are some functions, the, uh, model predictive control and so on, that are supported a little bit in these systems, but the support is very very weak. There is no connection between corporate software and scientific computational platforms, for example. And concerning general availability, these systems are absolutely not available to public. They are expensive in terms of hardware, expensive in terms of licenses of software, and normal person cannot buy these systems easily on internet, for example. One has to be a partner to have a training and so on. Local business, industrial building and building control systems. They also satisfy almost 100% process control requirements because they are destined to industrial environment. They support similarly modern information technology. They use only Windows, generally two years behind actual version of Windows, also comp standard PCs, computer stations. So they have a similar approach to information technology like the corporate, huge corporate control systems. Advanced control, because of lack of the investment, there is now no, almost no support. There are some exceptions, but generally local industrial control systems don't care at all about advanced control. Corporate systems do it at least f to be in because they are big, so they try to do some publicity around it, but local control systems, they don't care at all. Uh, availability for general public, yes, they are more available. Che they are a little bit cheaper. That's their advantage, according to corporate control systems. So they are cheaper in terms of hardware, sometimes software is fr for free, for example, and some of the systems can be buy on market. Some not, but availability is higher. Now we have these special experimental and embedded control systems. In terms of process control requirements, these systems are not for in standard industrial implementation. So the support is very low for these classical requirements. Information technology, they use more of it. Generally they support Windows, Linux, Macintosh, but computers must be powerful to use it. In terms of advanced control, yes, these systems are destined for advanced control. So they are typically used for aer in aerospace or defense or automotive. So yes, you can do simulations. There are there are connections between scientific computational platforms and these control systems. Availability for general public software is expensive, very expensive. Hardware is normal price. 
but they are available on market some of them are available on market so availability is like this finally we have hobby electronics systems like Arduino process control requirements there is no support of that anything you want to do you want to do some alarms you want to have special inputs outputs you want to do visualization you have to build it manually program it if you want to use Arduino they support different kinds of in, uh, information technology so the support of the information technology is higher you have all three systems generally also smaller computers can be used and so on advanced control again difficult you have to do everything if you have to program everything so there is no support for advanced control and the advantage big advantage general public availability hardware is cheap software is for free or cheap anyone can buy it so this is advantage of hobby electronic control systems now my question is why we cannot have a universal control system that will satisfy process control requirements will use will support fully modern inf information technologies and will support as well advanced control at the same time will be cheap there is no contradiction between uh, between these four elements all they can be satisfied so why not something like that so what we are aiming with our new control system three main f flaws fully featured systems are expensive they are generally corporate systems they are not available to general public professional individuals schools small companies they have a problem to you to even to buy it or to use it aiming we want a wide use of advanced control system technology so not only by big industrial concern but by big, big business but use of advanced control system technology even in small cases small businesses another flaw poor or non support of advanced control there is no link to advanced control design software A new developed techno techniques and methods are not applied in control systems in practical so we are aiming optimized and robust control performance connect control system research and theory to the practice finally unused modern information technologies even almost all types of control systems they do not use open source platforms powerful platforms softwares Linux Mac operating systems are supported only slightly tablets mini PCs all kinds of new hardware that is cheap but powerful it's not generally supported what we are aiming here is decreased cost of this of the control system and increase in performance and flexibility so in our new dynamic control unit control system our we apply process control requirements so we have all history recording visualization alarm schedules different kinds of input outputs our real-time system we will support modern open source information technologies and we will also fully support advanced control hardware structure of our control system it's like uh, any traditional control system we have real-time units in our case we call it dynamic control unit it has inside hard real-time system it means that the control has absolute priority above any other tasks we have one millisecond sampling time 64-bit floating point precision very high precision used in compu scientific computational platforms and support of advanced control we also have support for standard industrial network which is Modbus so we have real-time control unit that is interconnected with 
say classical or modern network. Our network is Ethernet technology, wireless technology, UDP, TCP, IP, Internet. So actually the most modern networking technology we use it. So we can have wireless connection to our distant control unit for example. This a net type of networking is extremely practical. We can have cheap solution, we can have extremely high performance solution, we can have a large networks without limits in fact. On this side we have visualization and design. We support any system, any uh, Windows, Macintosh, Linux, uh, any kind of computer or notebooks for displaying tablets phones, anything. Software. Software structure is here. We have on one side visualization and data recording. On the other side we have control design and programming of our system. In the core we have database. Our interface, communication interface, and then here we have our operating system network and our real time units. So, visualization. Our visualization is web uh, pages. We have web pages, and to serve these web pages, we have a web server. In our case, it's Apache PHP, any other web server can be used in our case. In the core, we have da database system. In, a, in our case, it's MySQL. Uh, on the side of programming, it was already said we have scientific computational platform, and inside this platform, we have a toolbox with graphic user interface that helps us to design and program our control unit. This little application is a service which is still running on a computer and it's sending and receiving information to database from database to the units and to the to the web server and to computational platform operating systems as it was said it can be any version of windows macintosh linux now so we have open source and free platform independent actively developed confident powerful and modular in case of MySQL, for example, MySQL is used but face by Facebook or Wikipedia or YouTube. So there is no doubt about performance of this system and stability. Apache is the most common web server used around the world. About 50% of all web pages are served by this system. MATLAB and Scilab they are the most common scientific computational platforms for control system research and development projects in many many areas I wrote here aerospace energy automotive industry control theory on universities you see only MATLAB and Scilab in case of open searching for open source and free solution so we have not only free system except MATLAB but instead of MATLAB we can use Scilab we have also extremely powerful and modular system. What are assets of our new control system? Advanced fully featured process control system technology is brought to general public. Price of hardware is low, price of software is zero. Technology performance can compete wi with and overcome corporate built systems. Our actual test shows that we can compare to any system. Full support of most advanced control technologies. Next, constant development of our software platforms is guaranteed by use of widely supported open source platforms. MySQL database as well as web server as well as computational platforms are develop, developed by tens of thousands of developers around the world. 
in case of open source. Excellent price thanks to open source and free software and low cost hardware. Uh, application fields because it, the system is universal it has as well lo low, co low cost solution is possible we have also advanced control support so we can use it in industry, research, building, education or hobby <laughs>